while I was trying to figure out my way around Blender, I saw lots of tutorial that had no substance. I implore you to stay with me to the end of this demonstration as I show you how to permanently solve issues that has to do with lighting your project around uh, the Blender environment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. After you are done sculpting or modeling your mesh, press Shift A and select your plane. Position it anywhere of your choice and uh, immediately after you are done with positioning it, you move on to the material property. At the material property section, you select emission. What emission does is to diffuse light all over uh, your object or your mesh. And this will serve as the key light. Don't forget you can also adjust the intensity to uh, whichever readings that is okay for you. And uh, as soon as you are done getting uh, the appropriate reading for, for the light, uh, what's the next thing you do? What's the next thing you do? Yes, the next thing you do is uh, you also introduce uh, your fuel light. And this time around, when you're making use of the fuel light, you don't need to follow the same sequence that you used in introducing your key light, which was the emission light. This time around, you use uh, the lighting that are the default light settings on Blender. And these ones will serve as your fuel light to avoid any form of unnecessary shadow. And uh, as soon as you are done with that, another trick I would like to show you is the camera trick. Uh, to properly uh, navigate around this camera trick, I implore you to move the camera a little bit, a little bit away from your mesh or your object. And when it's f uh, away from your object or your mesh, then you decide to zoom it in again. Zooming it in this time around, it is not the lens you are going to zoom in. And rather, it is going to be the focal length that uh, you will make adjustments to. So, when you make, you make the adjustment to, uh, the adjustment of the focal length to whichever readings or configuration that is okay by you in such a way that it will, uh, reveal lots of details about uh, your object or your mesh and that way it will make it to be more appealing to the eye and it will make it look more professional and uh, the last trick here is the material texture if you like the material texture that i used in, on this particular project i implore you to pause the video and copy out uh, the configurations that i used and you can introduce it and make uh, modifications to your own project, you can introduce it to your project and make personal uh, modifications and let it suit uh, your preference. There you have it. If you love this procedural guide, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you think this was helpful, don't forget to also drop a comment. This will encourage me to do more. I can't wait to hear from you. Good luck.